Well, hi there, pluckers. I'll have a soul finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is a classic song from Peter Frampton called Baby I Love Your Way. Okay, standard tuning, no capos. Doing it in the original key that Peter Frampton originally recorded this song in. Okay, uh, in later years he plays it with his guitar detuned by half a step. Just so you know that. Okay, so without more ado, we're going to go through the first uh, intro the intro, sorry, the first verse and the first chorus. Break that all down for you, show you exactly how I played it and you'll be good to go, you'll have everything you need. Just repeat everything again with different words. Okay, so here we go. Singing as usual for reference only, definitely not a cover version. Okay, here we go then. <laughs> Cause you So let's get to it. The introduction and what's played in between the, the, the chorus and the following verse, okay? It's basically, um, now then, uh, what you've got to do with this is basically your first finger, I'm starting off on the 10th fret of the 5th string, the A string, and either your 3rd finger or your pinky has to play the 12th fret of the B string, the 2nd string, okay? So you only need two fingers, okay? But you need to mute the top, the bottom E string. So what I tend to do is rest my thumb on it, okay? So it doesn't sound, okay? And also the first finger has to lean in a bit and kill the fourth string, the D string. So that's muted as well. So sixth string muted, fifth string you sound, 10th fret. Mute the fourth string, the D string. G string, third string open. 12th fret on the second string, the B string, and you also lean that pinky or third finger, whichever finger you're using, towards the bottom of the neck and kill the top string, the first top bottom, the top E string. That's muted as well. So the sixth string is muted, the fourth string is muted, and the top E string is muted, okay? And then you strum all six strings. You can strum away. Okay, that's what it should sound like, obviously. Okay, so that's the first chord. The second chord is exactly the same idea, same mutings, but you slide your first finger down to the ninth fret and pinky down to the or third finger down to the tenth fret. Okay, so but you mute the 6th string, the 4th string and the top E string again, all the time, okay? Whilst you're doing this sort of open string strumming, okay? So, okay, then we take that shape down another two frets. So the first finger is now playing the 7th fret of the 5th string, the A string, and pinky or third finger is playing the 8th fret of the 2nd string, muting the 6th string, the fourth string and the top E string again, okay? As usual, okay? So then you've got this. Okay? And there's a bit more strumming on that, that one, so it goes. And that little bang, bang, bang 
is that chord that you're already on. So you sort of da da da, da. and then you move it down the straight, same uh, fingering, fifth fret of the fifth string, the A string, and seventh fret of the second string with your third or pinky. Okay, again muting the sixth string, the fourth string, and the top E string, and then down another two frets to the third fret on the A string, the fifth string, and the fifth fret of the second string with your third or pinky. Okay, again muting the sixth string, fourth string, and uh, the top E string. Okay, so that bit is. Single strums on those. Okay, so, so far we've got this. Okay, do that slowly for you. Okay, here we go. Okay, then we go to a normal bar chord, 7th fret, B minor 7th, 7th fret bar chord, single finger, 3rd finger on the ninth fret of the A string, the 5th string. OK, got that? Then we move that down to the 5th fret, the A minor 7th, same shape as the B minor 7th but down on the 5th fret bar, 7th fret on the 5th string. Okay, so then we've got this. Sorry, I got that wrong. Got that wrong. <laughs> you, uh, you. And finally, keeping the A minor seventh, although you can take that finger off, just keep the bar if you like, and add a pinky to the 7th fret of the top E string and just strum that single source finishes on that chord so, it's, so it goes that or you can keep that there and just add the pinky whichever you want whichever is easier for you as long as you get that pinky on that 7th fret of the top uh, E string first string okay? so the whole thing so far is uh, this and sort of just strum the last four strings, four, three, two, one, emphasizing that note. And then we go into the verse, okay? So once more for good measure on the intro which is also played between the verse and the following, sorry, the chorus and the following verse, okay, so. Okay, now comes the verse. Same strumming for most of it, okay? So the first bit is the same, so. Shadows go so low. That's exactly the same as the intro, okay? And they're moving, and they're moving, which is exactly the same as the intro, okay? And they're moving, okay? And the only thing that's different is now we go to um, moving far away, as uh, where we're going to, and they're moving. Where are we? They've got lost the words. Across the page, that's right. Across the page, and when you go to page, you are on F ninth. Okay. And what that is is uh, third finger is uh, barring the first, second, and third strings on the eighth fret. First finger is playing the seventh fret of the D string, the fourth string, and. Uh, what we need to do with this uh, is to put the third, uh, second finger on the eighth fret of the bottom E string because that's the bass note of the what's needed. You need to hit that and just 
just lean it in a bit so the fifth string is now dead. Doesn't worry, don't worry about that. Mute the fifth string. So you just hit that sixth string and fall down to one. Okay? Don't worry about the fifth string, okay? So so far then we first on the first verse we've got slowly sh uh, shadows go so for my eye. Moving across the page. Okay, now we repeat. Suddenly the day turns into night. From the sea. Right. Then we go to the B minor seventh, which you've already played in the intro. So done. Hesitate. Now on hesitate, we're praying at E seventh, but it's basically a. It's it's, it's best if you play it here. Okay, you can play it like that, but it doesn't sound right. Okay, so B minor seventh to E seventh. Basically, it's a C seventh shape. So if you play a C seventh shape, as you've done many times before, probably C C chord with the pinky on the the third fret of the third string, the G string, okay? Just imagine that shape, hold that shape and bring it up so that your first finger is playing the second string, the B string, on the fifth fret. Okay, same shape, exactly as the C7 starting on the fifth fret. Okay. Okay. So, and then strum that. So that last, that second line of the verse is uh, Certainly the day turns into night Far away from the sea So the B minor 7th, E 7th, there's a time Okay, what I tend to do with these inside chords is normally with E seventh it doesn't matter too much because you're playing E, but I tend to mute the sixth string with my thumb. I rest my thumb on the sixth string, the bottom E string, and my first finger is leant over again, muting the top E string. So I'm actually only sounding the fifth, fourth, third, and second strings. Okay, so that's the E minor, uh, B minor seventh. Don't hesitate. E seven does your A minor seven, which you've also played fifth fret bar chord, single finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string, the eighth string, uh, and then we play finally. Don't wait or won't wait. Is a D seventh. So this one's a C seventh, exactly the same, but up to the sec uh, the third fret, starting on the third fret. Again, mute the sixth string with your thumb if you can. Just rest it on there, and the same with the first finger, lent over slightly, kills the first top E string. Okay. Okay. So that last bit is B minor seventh. So do E seventh has a because your A minor seventh, D seventh won't work. Oh. Come to the chorus, okay? So let's just go through the whole verse again. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll go from the intro, we'll go all the way through the intro, okay? So here we go. Very simple. G, oh, 
D Baby I love your A minor way Every C today Okay so Oh baby I love you go back and play the intro again. Exactly the same as we've played the original intro. Then we go into the second verse and it's exactly the same verse playing again and then another chorus etc. Okay so um, so let's just go through this chorus again. So it's G, O, D, baby I love your A minor, and then to C every day and if you can manage it Get a quick second fret fifth string, open fifth string to the G. So it's, if I do it so, it's oh, baby, I love you every G to D to A minor to C and then a very quick second on the fifth string, open fifth string, start again. Okay? So we'll just go through the whole thing, shall we? Very relatively slowly. Okay. Intro, first verse, chorus, and then into the intro again. Um, so intro, first verse, first chorus, and then back into the intro in readiness for the second verse. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so uh, good luck with that and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.